Gold has been coming all the way back to the downside after the US election and after the Fed rate cut. Fed cut rates last week Thursday and market has been dropping all the way to the downside after that rate cut. And this market is also going to continue all the way back to the downside. So if you're a gold trader, this video is for you. I'm going to explain the reason why I believe and I think technically and also fundamentally that gold is going to crash all the way into this very area of 2,484 and this area of 2,388 before we see the next movement to the upside. This is very, very important for all gold traders. And if you want to trade gold, you also need to pay attention to this very price analysis. Please consider supporting this channel by leaving a like for this video. Subscribe right now and turn on the bell notification for more Forex videos like this one. Also, check the channel for other Forex content. Right here on gold, market has been going all the way upward. From this very area, you see that the market has been in a very progressive uptrend. Market move, impulsive move. We have retracement right here. Market move, impulsive consolidation. And the market broke out and market move all the way upward. We have retracement market continue this move all the way to the upside to this very point. And then from here, market begin to come all the way to the downside, which is very, very important right now. So market has already broken this very key structure, as you can see right now on this very price action. Market is going to continue this movement to the downside. Look at it here. This is a very key and important level of support. And from here, market is already um, breaking out. And this breakout means a lot to us as good traders. So once this breakout is confirmed at the end of this very candle that is forming right now, right here, if this candle close below this very level of important support, then what that means is market is going to come back down. Although what I'll be looking at is market coming down a little bit and then we have retracement and the continuation back to the downside before gold will pick up again to the upside. What I am saying is this is not a permanent reversal. What that means is market is going to go down, retrace, come back down and then begin to pick up again. So we have a good or intense retracement to the downside before continuation for the correction of all the move the market has been moving all the way from this very point in the past it here market move all the way from this very area to this very point and continue upward so we should expect a good retracement on the chart before any move to the upside so expect the market to move down a little bit and then retracement to come in before continuation back to the downside. This is what you have to pay attention to if you trade good. And this is very, very important right now. If you look at the stochastic RSI indicator, you discover that the market is already at oversold condition. At oversold condition right here, meaning a lot that the market have capacity of coming out of this oversold condition. And once that happens, it means that the market have tendency of retracing upward before continuation and I will update you on this very channel. So this is what you have to pay attention to right now. Market is going to move down a little bit from this very point, just slightly downward. And then we will see retracement come into the market before continuation back to the downside. This is what you have to pay attention to right now on your chart. And if you look at the big picture on the chart right now, which is the MACD indicator, the MACD indicator is showing a very intense sign all the way to the downside with the MACD histogram already forming on the negative side of the MACD at this very point. This means that there is a lot more sell momentum than buy momentum right now on good. So market is going to continue this movement to the downside. In as much as we see retracement, market is going to come back to the downside, in my opinion right now, from what we are seeing on this very price action. Remember, what is causing this very move is what I discussed earlier about divergence. If you look at it very well on the MACD indicator, it discovered that there was a very critical divergence on this very chart and this divergence you can draw from this very point to this very area right here and this very point right here then on the indicator which is the MACD indicator 
from this very point to the downside. So this is a bearish divergence. A bearish divergence occur on the resistance level. And not only that, when the market breaks out of this very trend line, it is a confirmation that market is going to move downward in line with this divergence. And once this trend line was broken at this very point, market begin to come back down. So the last confirmation now is a breakout of this very level of support once the market come out and break this structure then it means that break of structure market have capacity to retrace and then continuation back down so it is this very divergence that is causing this very move technically on the chart then fundamentally we've seen fed court rate last week thursday not only that the u.s election that was won by president trump is also feeling this to make good to come back all the way to the downside that is making the us dollar to gain strength against good and this is what you have to pay attention to right now on your chart so expect this market to still move all the way to the downside on the one day chart what this means is if you are a good trader please right now on the lower time frame for example four hour one hour look for buy opportunity because market have capacity of moving up a little bit and then it's going to come back down now on the longer time frame look for sell opportunity however you don't sell where the market is right now don't sell at this very zone why because market has been moving all the way from here to the downside what you need to do if you are a swing trader you need to wait for that little move to come into the market from this very area downward and then you wait for market to retrace and then you take a sell opportunity to the downside conclusively on the higher time frame if you trade the four hour chart and the one day chart look for sell opportunity on gold as us dollar will be strong in the next coming days and weeks this is what i am personally looking at right now on this very chart and if you go a little bit downward to the one week chart you see that something very critical on the one week chart right here which is very very important we need to pay attention to what we are seeing on the one week chart. look at it market move all the way from here to the upside we have a little consolidation at this very point so consolidation right here breakout and market make a new high after this new high right now market is coming back to the downside that is why i am expecting that this market have a considerable good retracement to the downside and then market is going to move upward again for the next continuation and this is what you must have to pay attention to right now this is what i am personally looking at not only that if you look at the stochastic rsi indicator it discovered that the market on the one week chart have already entered into the overbought condition coming out of overbought condition and crossing the 80 percent line right here which means market have a very very high capacity of coming all the way back to the downside because this is coming out of overbought condition which means the market has overbuy and sellers are going to take off the market all the way to the downside in this very downward progression and that is what you must have to pay attention to right now that is why i said if you trade the one day chart and the four hour chart look for sell opportunity why if you are a day trader or a scalper look for buy opportunity to the upside on gold so on the long term gold is going to come back all the way to the downside and that is what you must have to focus on right now and pay attention to all of this because this is what we are going to see in the next coming days and weeks on this very price action what do you think about the price of good comment below in the comment section of this very video please consider supporting this channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe right now and turn on the bell notification for more forex videos like this one also check the channel for all that forex content thanks for watching